क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपाउंड विल बी सुटेबल फॉर जलडाल मेथड फॉर नाइट्रोजन एस्टिमेशन जलडाल मेथड इज यूज फॉर नाइट्रोजन एस्टिमेशन इन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड ओके इन विच सैंपल हीटेड विद एस टू एस ओ फोर सो अमोनियम सल्फेट फॉर्म्ड विच रिएक्ट विद एन ए एच एंड अमोनिया इज रिलीज बट इन केस ऑफ नाइट्रो एजो ग्रुप एंड नाइट्रोजन If present in aromatic ring, then Jeldal method is not used because they cannot form ammonium sulphate. So right answer will be one. The question is: In this, which of the following are Lewis acids? Lewis acids are those in which central atom having vacant orbitals and having tendency to gain the lone pair. Out of these options, in first. Six electron in outermost after formation of three bonds, electron deficient, so it be have a Lewis acid. In this octet is complete, no doubt having vacant orbital, but comparatively less tendency to gain the electron. In this octet is complete, vacant orbital not present, present but having lone pair, so it having tendency to lose the, provide the lone pair. That's why it is Lewis base. And same year, its octet is complete. In this case, boron having three electron outermost shell, three bond form with chlorine, so six electron. It is electron deficient, so we have as Lewis acid. In this also, there are six electron outermost shell after formation of bond. That's why electron deficient. We can't p orbitals present in both of them, so both of these two have. More tendency to gain the lone pair. That's why both of these two behave as Lewis acid. Same year, phosphine behave as Lewis base because having lone pair and is Lewis acid. That's why out of these four, the best answer from them is third option. So correct answer is third. Question number four. It is given phenol on treatment with CO2 in the presence of NaOH. Followed by acidification produces compound X as the major product. X on treatment with acidic anhydride in the presence of catalytic amount of H2SO4 produces four options are given. Let's start to solve this problem. At first, phenol in presence of basic medium NaOH, it gives phenoxide ion. This phenoxide ion then reacts with carbon dioxide. And as all of us know, phenoxide ion O minus is the ortho para directing because of plus M effect. EAS takes place, CO2 here acting as a electrophile, and ring attacks at ortho positions. Sigma complex is formed, deprotonations makes the product, followed by protonations, ortho product is the major product. Now question arises, as it is ortho para directing, generally para product should be the major product. Why here ortho product is the major product? To solve this point, we have to go through the structure of the transition state. The structure of the transition state here it is given. Here O minus, and during this stage. O does not have any charge, so transition state O having delta negative, and this is the transition state, and that transition state is very stable because of six-member chelations, and that's the reason ortho product form as a major product, which is called salicylic acid. So salicylic acid after that reacts with acetic anhydride given here in presence of acidic medium H plus. The process is called acylation process, which is Part of the phenol, phenol actually phenol OH actually participating in these reactions, and OH is converted into OCOCH3, and the final product form is called aspirin, which is non-narcotic analgesic. So, whatever is the answer is given here, the answer number four is correct answer.